What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here in Fire Emblem If, since it is pretty much on the cusp of being released in Japan, of course there are people with early copies, I think the game comes out really soon though, if not it's all right. It's already out right now, and dudes, there's already some data mining going on with the game, you know, right away, whenever these guys get these games, what they do usually is hook it up to their computer via some kind of apparatus, some kind of interface, and they're able to usually find the files within the game like that. We're getting word of some very strange files, man, and stuff that I feel like you niggas might be interested in, and all you perverse, all you, all you otaku, I feel like you dudes are going to be into this kind of stuff, and you know what, I love covering this because at the end of the day, this is always great for a laugh. Let's get into this, man. Um, Esteroy Conillo, shout out to you, bro, for showing me this. This guy showed me stuff before. I've seen him on Twitter as well, too. In fact, let me give this man a follow real quick. Let me just get this man the follow. Alright, so anyways, so he says to me, Etika, Fire Emblem Fates became lewd, and good God almighty, some people are pissed off at this. And I can sort of kind of understand why. Fire Emblem is a very respected series, has a strong background, strategy-based. Usually it takes a really serious mindset to be able to get through the game. That's why I haven't even finished Awakening yet, because I'm really, I'm, I'm really focusing on not losing anyone. I'm, I'm sure thing I'm playing with like a really Iron Man way of playing, a way that most niggas can't do, mind you. But I'm still doing it, and I still find the game fun in that way. But um, there's apparently going to be a couple of other things implemented with Fire Emblem if that are very fun for people. And um, let's take a look at exactly what's going on here. I saw some other people talk about the article in ways of telling me, like, you know, certain things that are in it and um, certain files that were found, but I didn't really get to see the overall general description. So we're going to be reading this for the first time together. Let's get into this. Lewd Fire Emblem Fates dialogue, stripping and touching found. My nigga, my nigga, oh my god. Is it going down? I mean,. Like I said, people are upset behind this, though, and I, I, I think the reason why people are upset is because, like I said, Fire Emblem, respected franchise, people feel like the game is going too far down the waifu road. Many people were hoping that the marriage system wouldn't be implemented in this game, so it would keep some of that integrity that the previous titles had, because apparently the marriage system is something new in Awakening, but at the same time, these are the same mechanics which saved the series. I mean, if it wasn't for Awakening, Fire Emblem would be dead. Let's just face that, honestly. But at the same time, some people feel like the waifu mechanic ruined the game. But how does that ruin the game, per se, if the gameplay is still heralded as one of the best strategy games on a goddamn handheld, you know? But, you know what? I'm getting into schematics. Let's get into the article. Um, the Japanese version of Fire Emblem Fates includes suggestive dialogue, the ability to closely examine characters in their underwear, and a feature to touch and stroke characters' bodies. It isn't known if any of these features will be present in the Western localizations of the game, and I can guarantee you, without a goddamn doubt in my brain, that it's going to be watered down to an extent. You know this for a fact. Although Fire Emblem Fates is available in Japan as of today, well, I hope not, but, um, it's available, okay, so it's available in Japan now. The game is released, so, you know, if you speak near home, you can get yourself an early copy, or, or well, early to us Americans, man, like, you... Come on, man, really? Although, you know, I mean, I, I guess, like, the early release dates are kind of balanced out between the regions. If anything, Europe is left out a bit, and so is Australia. Although Fire Emblem Fates is available in Japan as of today, the features were first discovered by players with access to the game ahead of its launch. Twitch user Hamayama. Hamayama? Is this the dude that was leaking the stuff in the Smash Brothers stream? Remember when Smash Brothers was leaked for the 3DS and people were streaming it early? We were trying to see what the roster was? I remember that night like it was yesterday, man. It was a very fateful night. And they were releasing the characters one by one in terms of like unlocking them on Smash 3DS. And everyone was just sitting there waiting for their character to be announced, or rather unlocked. And I think Hamayama was one of the people that was doing that. He had himself an early copy of Smash 3DS and he was playing through it on stream. And he was really bad, too. Um, Hamayama streamed a large portion of the game last night showcasing the features. And spoilers from Fire Emblem Fates may follow. Well, this is probably where I should leave off right now. But for the sake of news and the laughs at the same time, I'm probably going to continue reading this. I really don't want to get spoiled, but I want to see at least a little bit of what the, the lewd Ichi has to say. Because, I mean, you know, waifu emblem all day. When buying items at the accessory shop, players can strip party members down to their underwear. Players can then rotate the camera around their bodies and zoom in to get a closer look. Oh my gosh. Japanese culture at its finest, my friends. The images shown below were taken from the Twitch stream, showing this feature in action. So we are about to see some lewd material on here. If you got sensitive eyeballs or you got a weak dick, you probably should look away right now. Fire Emblem Fates, accessory shop stripping. Good God almighty, they were not lying, man. 
This definitely goes a lot more in depth than I thought. What the fuck, nigga? Are you kidding me? Is that Robin? Holy shit. Wait a minute, guys. All right, this is just. This is getting to a whole nother level here. A lot of people are complaining about this, man. They're saying Fire Emblem is not the same game that it was. It's making a lot of changes that they feel are detrimental to the series in terms of how well it's respected and how the gameplay is viewed and what people play it for. But to be honest with you, even if Fire Emblem had bad game, like, if Fire Emblem had bad gameplay, it wouldn't be a game that's played. You know, like people play the game because you know it has amazing strategic input. And at the same time, it also has the waifu. So, I mean, there's a lot of factors that bring people to it. You shouldn't just think that people are only playing Fire Emblem because of the waifu thing. Although, to be honest with you, that's kind of like how it seems on the outside looking in. But, um, god damn, dude, are you kidding me? Fire Emblem also considered, also includes a feature, I heard about this, like Pokemon and me, where you can, like, touch your Fire Emblem character. Pretty crazy. Additionally, if the main character achieves an S-rank relationship with another character, the dialogue that takes place during this rubbing feature will become suggestive and sexual. Users on Reddit have translated a number of suggestive dialogue lines from this feature. Here are some good examples. Um, Camilla says, the way you're using your hand feels so good. Very skillful. Yo, that woman is a cougar right there. She's a fucking pro. She knows what's going on. She said, oh, this is really, really, really nice technique on the fingering, man. Your hand doesn't even get tired that fast. Wow, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> Camilla, man. Goddamn. Um, Laswald, I don't know who this is. I also want to touch you. Will you come closer? My nigga. Yo, it's Laswald. Laswald sounds like a dude. All right, so this is, this is really, this is really in-depth, man. Uh, Takumi says, you can touch me wherever I like. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yo! Joker says we can't. It'll have to wait for tonight? Yo, this is crazy! This is in the game! This shit is in Fire Emblem Fates as we speak, my niggas. What do you think? Do you think this shit is gonna make its way to the other regions of the world? I don't know. It might get watered down a little bit. What, what's this game rated in Japan, man? Because right now, I think it might be kind of teetering on an M rating, considering stuff like this exist in the game man like look that's just straight up under boob right there that's like that's like that's like 20 percent boobage right there no no more like 30 percent 25 percent boobage right there um definitely 25 percent when you do it this much it's embarrassing yo my nigga must have the machine gun fist in there he <laughs> i can't do that shit for too long man i mean i know i got beefy arms but my my, my shit be <laughs> oh god <laughs> someone save me <laughs> before my arm cuts off <laughs> Um, for example, wait, oh wait, let's get serious a little bit. I'm making all these jokes, but at the end of the day here, this is something to take into consideration when purchasing Fire Emblem Fates and when approaching the game at the same time. A lot of sexual innuendos in there, along with suggestive themes, and who knows, this might make some people upset. Um, the story of Fire Emblem Fates follows the main character and a number of their siblings. The dialogue can become sexual even when interacting with siblings and may border incestuous. So, um, I guess you can say that's a difference in Japanese culture. A lot more sexual themes in there for younger audiences. And this could be something that definitely will get neutered when it may, tries to make its way over here in the United States. Other regions, I'm not too sure, but here in the US, they may not be okay with that. For example, Takumi, the player's brother, may say, if mother saw this, what would she think during a petting session? Really, dude? But maybe he means it in a cute way, like, oh, look at you two brothers, you're having fun, you know, you're wrestling around and all that stuff. But considering there's two grown men and you get in touch by your older brother, my well, nigga, it don't, it don't seem too good. You can watch the touching feature in action in the Twitch video at the 816 and 1022 marks. And Nintendo recently revealed that Fire Emblem Fates will allow same-sex marriages in a limited fashion, which created a loud reaction from fans both in support and of against the feature. Who, what kind of closed-minded idiot would be against the gay marriage feature in Fire Emblem Myth? I mean, well, then again, there are a lot of people that were against the marriage feature in general. A lot of people hated that shit, man. But the game still did well, Awakening, that is. So, I think you might have to just get used to it, man. A lot of what Fire Emblem is now is thanks to it kind of appealing to a more general mass audience. And Fire Emblem, if there's one thing that they know how to do with their series, it's develop characters. Some of these characters are the most loved that I've ever come into contact with. And this is on a goddamn portable handheld. Or rather, let's see, portable handheld. This is on a goddamn handheld um, system. So, I mean, come on, man. Um, Fire Emblem has great characters, really deep story development, 
and they just opened it up to a way that a lot of other people can enjoy it. More broad audience, not as harsh penalties for playing the game. They added the classic mode and the casual mode. Um, well, classic mode was always there, but they added the casual mode. Following the release of Xenoblade Chronicles X in Japan, players discovered Lin Lee 13, I covered that. Fire Emblem Fates launched in Japan today on the um, Fire Emblem If, it's scheduled to arrive in the West, blah, blah, blah. Um, Alright, so guys, there's a lot of juicy content in Fire Emblem If. A lot of things are changed up with the way the gameplay is going, and I don't even know all the details myself because I've been trying to avoid spoilers, so I don't even know everything that's going on. But you guys definitely do. And already, this game is looking like it's going to be the best Fire Emblem game of them all. A bit with a few... with a few rage-inducing... Um, features that are included in it. Um, the marriage feature returning and then on top of it all being so over amped to the point where now you have sexual innuendo in parts of the game where it probably shouldn't be to some people but it is anyways and then of course you have the implementation of gay marriage which I feel like is definitely a step in the right direction but um, yeah I don't know I, I don't think this is so bad I mean even though it is kind of like a surprise to see Fire Emblem's characters treated in this way at the same time I don't see this as a problem man I mean Sure, it's explicit, sort of, but it's a bathing suit at the end of the day, man. If you caught me going to the beach last summer, you would have seen something like this. And I don't know if you would have, <laughs> if you would have liked it, but you would have seen me looking like this. This isn't nothing. This is nothing too bad, man. And if the characters look too young, then of course Nintendo will say in the localization over here in America, hey. They're of age, so you know what? No big problem there. I don't see this as being a massive issue. Some people are saying that it's ruining the integrity of the Fire Emblem game, and it's now becoming Waifu Emblem. The game series evolve over time, man. Sure, your game may not have the same fundamental definition that it did in earlier years, but to, to progress, you have to adapt. Fire Emblem was going to go into extinction if it wasn't for taking on those new changes that they had to, and they did so. Fire Emblem's gameplay was not affected in the slightest, it was only enhanced. The pair-up system, one of the most innovative things to be done in a strategy game, um, and I know what strategy game innovation can be like because I am an avid Advance Wars fan, I'm still waiting on their next title, it's probably not happening, but um, Intelligence Systems knows their shit when it comes to strategy games. And they just made it so that the game could appeal to a more general audience. If you like the wedding system, then by all means, more power to you. Get as many waifu as you can. But if you don't, it's not like they're holding a gun to your head and saying that you have to enjoy the game. I mean, to be honest with you, man, I, I feel like Sheriff sure, Fire Emblem is going in this direction. Some people cringe at anime weeaboo trash. But to be honest, man, it still has a really big appeal to a really big audience. And there's a lot of us that will enjoy the game. I definitely think I will. You know, these features add a little bit of fun to it, but it's still a very serious, intense, and on top of everything else, fun and engaging game at the same time with incredible replay value. And I haven't even beat Awakening yet, and I can already tell it has replay value out the asshole. Let me know what you think about this, and I'll talk to you niggas in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn a good one. Let me see if I can get this right. There we go. Wait, no! No, behave! Behave! There we go.